Welcome to Banking on Love, a show where we invite young people to go on blind dates with the sole aim to see if they're financially compatible. Sounds weird, I know. But in the words of he who must not be named, there is no romance without finance. Join me on this unique and insightful journey as we dive into these conversations on money and love. There will be a deck of love cards on the table and each guest will pick a card and ask their date a question. At the end of the date, they will determine if they are compatible and want to see each other again. Now watch me while I react to these dates. Welcome to Banking on Love. The rule says we pick a card at random, but I want you to do the honors first. Okay. Yeah. All right. How would you approach financial decisions as a couple, such as major purchases or investments? Okay, um, as a couple, I think they, they, um, they should come together and decide on how they want to do things. That's, that's what I'm going to say about But you, how, how would you answer that question? What is it? I'm calling. I need to be here clearer. Well, it's just how you choose to run your home. You and your partner, I and my partner, we just talk about who earns more. So the person that earns more should just bring more to do any major purchase or investments. That's what I think. But evidently, Messi is a soft girl. Do you believe in combining finances completely, keeping them separate or finding a middle ground? And if yes, why? Uh, I think finding a middle ground I'll go for finding the middle ground because we should, okay, in a relationship or sorry, in marriage or relationship, let's say marriage, they can be a joint account, but not everything. I don't think it's advisable to put all your eggs in one basket. Um, I don't believe in joint accounts. I think I might in the future, but right now I just don't believe in it. Uh, why don't you agree to this? Because I just feel we have to get to a certain level of understanding and transparency for us to have that. I just, I don't, I don't have a specific reason. I just feel like it boxes both parties. This is just a thought for now. It's not like that's how I want to think forever. Just now. For me, I, I just feel, uh, I, I'm not negative, but I just feel someone knowing my, my, my financial might, my want, my just, person not going to rest until they try to drain me on. That's your wife you're talking about. Uh, yeah, but like I said, I don't want to be negative, but. Okay. All right. I think if there's mutual respect in a relationship, then having a joint account makes more sense. That way we are each responsible for how we spend our money. My, my, my take on this is this. If you have your own separate account, I have a separate account. They pay you one million now. Well, as you mean you're making one million. And they pay me, let's say, 400,000. If I should spend my money finished, I'll still spend it on you. Do you understand? I spend my money finished, I have your money now. I don't know. I don't know anything about your financial life. So if you have a joint, if you have a joint account, we'll be able to plan our future better. We know how to manage, how to economize, and stuff like that. If we were given to plan a budget-friendly adventure together, where would you suggest we go, and what creative way would you save money along the way? My eye is big, shower, but I don't know anywhere in Paris, but let's say Paris. So what creative way I would... Save money. I'd rather spend, though. You give me, you say you spend before. Yeah. So you give me money to buy so many things. But creative way, I'm going to look fine, actually. I don't think I will save, I will spend, rather. If you have debt, how are you handling it? First thing first, I don't think I'll put myself in a situation where I'm going to be in debt. But then, if I should have debt, the debt will be something I can handle. Are you saying you can't take risk? What if you need the money, like a loan, to do something very important to help your business? Before taking a loan, I feel like there should be a vision. Like the possibility of winning is higher than losing. Do you understand? So if I'm taking any risk, my risk chances is never 50-50. It's 60-40, 70-30. 
But anything can happen, actually. Oh, well, then. But it's fine. Let's move on. Yeah. How do you approach financial surprises or unexpected expenses within a relationship? That's, that's usual. Like if I surprise you and maybe go to, maybe go to, let me say, Cartier and I get lots of stuff and you just see huge debit alerts, how would you approach that? On my own end. Yeah, because it's a yours. debit or card. Or yours. Or it will be our debit card. You have, to, you have serious questions to answer. Wahala. Yes, now. But you're supposed to be my partner. You're supposed to, like, you know, give room or... Definitely. He's not our partner. I'm not, I'm not the extravagant, expensive lady that would just... Because that would make me a poor planner. And when you're a poor planner, that means you're, you're, you're heading down. And I'm not, I'm not about that. But sometimes, you know, women, we might go somewhere with the girls and... Um, with the girls? Yeah. I thought I, the surprise was, was meant for me. It's not with the girls. Yeah, because maybe I would like to take my girls out or maybe it's my birthday. My own money. Because it's your debit card or our debit card. It has to be one of those, yours or ours. I don't, I don't, I don't subscribe to that. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. Okay, so if... $5,000 were to drop on your lap, how are you going to spend it? Huh? That's what I told you earlier. I already have a blueprint on how to spend that, that kind of amount of money. That's what I told you, real estate. And you know, real estate is one investment that you does not lose easily. It never depreciates. So you not look at women. You know, you know, you know just start. Or women. Mad, yeah. You're already the woman at home now. Are you just the I any any move. other? It's not from the if not from the um, five thousand dollar. I'll just you know as a normal as a normal human being you can help. So I'll just be tipsing a bit. Try to be honest. Sorry, you go uh, repeat. I'll just be tipsing people a bit Tip like you. The, no, those that the, the less privilege. Eh. Yes, the less privilege. Because they don't really have, so... <laughs> this case. I'm serious. I'm sorry, which less privilege? <laughs> if I don't... No, no, no. I ought to be honest. If I don't tip them, they, they might not see food and eat, or they might, they might not get to pay their accommodation. Are you and I know that if, if, we are, if I just say, let me focus on only my families alone. Come on. Now, Odogu. Okay, okay, okay. Give to the less privileged. <laughs> what would you say would be the best advice to two people that have different money personalities? Let's assume now that I am a saver and you are a spender. How do you see our relationship working? If, let's say I'm a spender, right? Yes, yes. The only way a relationship can work is if we come to terms on like an agreement. So there's no future for the spender. <laughs> My reaction says it all. Let's find out if these guys want to see each other again. Chuk's view on money is not so bad, but I feel like he wants to be in total control, which isn't a bad thing. And I still maintain my stand. I love to be in control as it should be. But from time to time, I carry my partner along too. Yes, I think my date went well. And um, I think financial compatibility is one of the things, let's say it causes 50% of marriage failures. Chibike is actually, I love his reassurance that I'm a beautiful girl. I mean, you can see that. But money is actually very important in a relationship and how you handle money matters. Yeah, I think it went as well as it could go. My date was educated, she was beautiful. She was very beautiful. And I think she was financially intelligent, so I think it went well. Meeting Chimeje was, um, let's say it was fun, it was exciting, 
and a little bit rusty because I like the fact that he kept it real. I would give him that. He was real with his questions. He was real with um, the vibe. I liked the flow. The importance of having a financial uh, discussion, I think it's, it's very, very key because it gives you an idea of the kind of person you intend to, you know, spend the rest of your life with. I think I would like to see Chimese again. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. I would love to, you know, get to meet her again. And maybe as a friend, because as of now, I'm not physically attracted to him. Okay, if I'm being honest, no. It would be nice to meet her again, if it's possible. I like her vibe, and I hope to see her again. I would like to meet Chibike again. Yes, I would want to see him again. Would I like to see her again? Definitely. I mean, wouldn't you like to see... Yeah, yeah, I'd like to see her again, definitely. Insightful, right? Now, some of these couples will go on another date with each other, while some won't. However, one thing is certain, they definitely have learnt more about dating and finances. Let's talk more in the comment section.